So I'm troubleshooting a international medium duty truck with a Cummins engine in it. Uh, there's a check engine light or a mill lamp illuminated in the dash and when I hooked up to it it gave me this fault code 3749 after treatment outlet NOx sensor data not rational drifted high. Uh, and so these troubleshooting steps and diagrams tell you what the component does, where it is, but this is um, important here. Possible causes for this fault code. Malfunctioning after treatment knock sensor, diesel exhaust fluid crystallization or deposits, or improperly installed after treatment outlet knock sensor. And so what I'm going to do next is show you where the outlet knock sensor is, that it is properly installed. We're going to check for the crystallization or deposits in the decomposition tube. And if all of that is good, then we're going to replace the outlet knock sensor. So right now, I'm underneath the truck. There's the back of the transmission, the drive shaft. And there's the exhaust pipe coming down into your DPF and your DPF flows out through the decomposition tube into your SCR and then out of the truck. So the first, well, the first thing that we want to check is to make sure the outlet knock sensor is installed correctly. That just means, is it where it's supposed to be so that it's making the proper readings and there it is your outlet knock sensor is always going to be after your SCR right before your exhaust actually exits the truck and so there's your exhaust pipe the end of it and there's your outlet knock sensor and here's your SCR now that we know that our outlet knock sensor is installed correctly, the next thing we wanted to do was to check for DEF crystallization. It means that dried up DEF is collecting before the SCR and then when the truck gets hot, it's burning up, uh, causing a false reading in your uh, outlet knock sensor. So there's the only place where this DEF is going to be building up is in this decomposition tube. This is your DEF injector where it injects the DEF into the exhaust stream into your SCR. So there's two ways you can check for crystallization. You can pull both these clamps and remove the entire decomposition tube in order to look inside and check for DEF. The problem with that is that you'll need uh, new gaskets, most likely, for both of these uh, ends of this decomposition tube. But the other thing you could do, what I'm going to do, is remove these three 10 millimeter bolts on your <coughs> injector, because this is where the uh, DEF is going to build up. If you're comfortable with it, you could just try to shine a light down in there and see what you got built up, or you can use a bore scope like I'm going to do. So we um, just looked through the decomposition tube and we saw that there was no DEF deposits in the decomposition tube, which means that what we have is a malfunctioning outlet knock sensor. Uh, there it is on the back side of your exhaust pipe. That's a, usually a 7 8 or a 22 millimeter 
wrench, um, but it can be hard to get off sometimes. Um, and it is serviced only as one piece and connects to this module here with the harness, which you'll have to remove with the two 10 millimeter bolts. Um, and it comes off as one piece, which you'll have to replace the whole thing. So I'm not going to be replacing this knock sensor at the moment. I need to order the parts for it. But as you can see, all you would do is a 7 8 wrench and break it loose. Uh, if you have any trouble breaking it loose, because because of all the heat these things uh, endure, they a lot of times will be somewhat seized up. So if you can't break it loose by just wrenching it, don't spin that off. If you have like a wrench, uh, line wrench or a crow's foot or something that wraps around, that's better to use. And if you need to, PV blaster or some kind of um, lubricant that will break free the threads. And then you can, even if you have the means, use a torch and heat the bung here where it threads into in order to break those threads loose because you don't want to round that off when you're trying to get it off and sometimes it can be a bear and then like I said it's just uh, two 10 millimeter bolts that uh, hold on the actual module here and this harness that uh, goes into it it's Kind of tricky but as it goes in as you push it in you have to kind of push down the button and it, and it slides together and then the same thing be careful with these too because this plastic can get brittle over time and want to break when you're trying to pull this out but you have to pull out this plastic as you kind of work it off of the harness and you unplug that replace your sensor Put your new sensor in 10 millimeter bolts and make sure you plug the arms back in and, and clip it up. And it's pretty simple. So this is the last thing I wanted to show you that I thought was important. It says the conditions for setting the fault codes or why this fault code sets. And it says the engine control module, the ECM detected, the after treatment outlet knock sensor was not reading zero not reading zero while in monitoring, motoring, non-fueling condition. So when there's a certain condition when it's running down the road where it's supposed to be reading zero and that sensor was not reading zero when it did it, its internal checks. And so it's throwing this fault code saying there's something wrong, which we checked either the EF deposits or the sensor back. So we found that the sensor was bad, and it says to validate the repair, start and operate the engine to raise exhaust temperatures. This can be done by either driving the vehicle or initiating a stationary regeneration. The after treatment SCR outlet temperature must be above 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds or over a minute before the after treatment outlet knock sensor can run its internal diagnostics. So after you replace the sensor, you want to get this the truck up to temperature in order for the knock sensor to run its internal diagnostics. Once it does that, the fault code will turn inactive and the check engine light will turn off after it runs and passes its internal diagnostics. So once you've replaced the sensor, if the sensor was the problem, once you run the truck for a little while, the code should go inactive in the, the mill lamp in the 